At a time when President-elect Trump is promising to bring manufacturing jobs back to the U.S., one local company has been proudly making markers in the U.S. since 1970s. Jonah Goldberg takes us inside the Dry Mark factory in tonight's Maine on Long Island. There are fabric and metallic markers, ones to make temporary tattoos, mark your wine glass, and even remove excess nail polish. From children-related products to um, wipe-off markers, permanent markers. These are just some of the varieties made by Drymark. It all takes place inside this 50,000-square-foot warehouse in Bethpage. But this wasn't always the case. The company imported products from Japan until the 1970s. CEO Charles Reichman and his family purchased Drymark as a way to bring manufacturing back to the states. I love Long Island. It's such a convenient place to be, to get around. It's easy. We have phenomenal people working for us. Drymark employs 40 people from 20 countries. They manufacture 200,000 markers a day and see over $10 million in sales each year. President and CFO Kathy Williams Owens says making the marker is a very intricate process. The marker is basically made up of six parts. You've got the barrel, the cap, and the plug, the filler, the nib, and of course the ink. Plastic resin goes through overhead pipes. A color cartridge mixes in the color. With the right amount of pressure and heat, each part of the marker is carefully made. It then goes to assembly where these triple highlighters are. This machine does the screen printing. And then the markers get packaged. Drymark products are sold in tens of thousands of stores throughout the country, including Walmart and Staples. Their counterfeit detector markers are their best seller. The pen itself works with the U.S. currency, which is a special type of paper. Many stores have transitioned to the pen with the UV light to combat the most sophisticated counterfeiters. Each denomination has a different color strip. On the $50 bill, it's yellow, and you can see it right next to Grand. Many of the chemicals we used 29 and 30 years ago they thought were safe are totally illegal now. For example, ethylene glycol is now it's antifreeze. Larry Henderson is the chemical compounder. He says special quality control tests are done to make sure the markers are airtight. Batches are also sent out for heavy metal testing. The silver itself is the metallic. You put that in with the, the colors you want to make, like in this case it's gold. Okay, you mix it and you got a metallic ink. The man behind the mixing has been with the company for almost three decades. You go to the supermarket and see the counterfeit detectors. We're checking $100 bills and $20 bills. And you see the, the fluorescent colors in the stores, kids buying it for school. It makes you feel good that somebody's doing something with the product you make. The goal to continue coming up with new innovative products while leaving their mark on Long Island. In Beth Page, Jody Goldberg, Fox 5 News.